Back to Alumni Stadium at the University of Windsor, where we're getting set for the men's 1500 meters here at the 2023 Johnny Loring Classic. This race presented by the University of Windsor. And a look at the field here in the men's 1500. It'll be Nick Foster wearing hip one. Corey Belmore will have hip two. Nathan Malnick will have hip three. Mike Tate, hip four. Santiago Gaetan, hip five. Riley Flemington, hip six. Ben Flanagan, hip seven. Mitchell Ubeen, hip eight. Andrew Peverell, hip nine. Nicholas Cook, hip 10. Simon Berube, hip 11. Hudson Grimshaw, Charette, hip 12. And Nicholas Bannon, hip 13. And we are underway in the men's 1500 meters. So Adam, this is a fascinating field. We have a beer mile world record holder in the form of Corey Bellmore. We have a NCAA 10,000 meter champion and Canadian five and 10K road champ in the form of Ben Flanagan. We have Riley Flemington, who was an absolute standout in the offsa scene last year, who also runs for the University of Michigan now. We have Mitch Ubeen, who won the 5,000 meter just a few days ago at the Inferno Classic, plus a handful of other incredibly talented athletes, including our fastest seed in the field, Nick Foster out of the University of Michigan at 338. So this should be a really exciting race as they go through the first lap in under 60 seconds. <coughs> so the meet record here, 336.65, that was set, set back in 2017 by Harnish Carson. And none of these athletes coming in with a seed mark under that. Yeah, and Adam, hard to imagine that any of these athletes will surpass that tonight, but you do see that is, I, so that is Foster tucked in behind our rabbit, and then right behind him, that appears to be Belmore. Corey Belmore is a sub four minute miler in his own right, um, which is an absolutely stunning time, never mind the beers, but he's also a 428 beer mile world record holder a guy that I've had the pleasure of getting to know very well over the last couple of years, come through again right around just under two minutes through that 800 meters. So they were 59 and then about one minute flat through their second 400. Excellent running. They're not messing around. And again, Foster coming in with the fastest time at 338.78. He was third at the Big Ten Championships this year. His personal best is from April, so it's fresh on his mind. So he was ninth in the mile at the NCAA indoors this year coming in with a ton of experience and great to see a, a whole contingent of university of michigan athletes including ben flanagan who's just off the left side of your screen there now he's making a big move in that mint green kit as they'll hear the bell here this is 244 on the clock and really powerful running by ben flanagan he's small in stature but big in power and he is looking to set down a blazing time here. He only has, I think, a 344 personal best and wanting to improve on that significantly. So he's moved into second here. Nick Foster still leading. Belmore running in third. And they're tightly packed, those lead three right now. Perhaps Foster sensing that and trying to pull away a bit, but not having much success there is now here comes Flanagan looking to the outside to make a move but foster continuing to hold him off belmar trying to stay in the conversation flanagan trying on the outside he's into the lead and flanagan's going to pull ahead and he is going to take the win here at the johnny loring classic wow adam what a push for the guy who has become known as a real distance stud he is known for his strength but that was 340, if not just under, and that was an amazing final 300 meters for the road and long distance track specialist. He's had a really, he had a really fantastic year indoors this year. He ran some personal bests in the shorter distances, but look at him timing this so perfectly. He's a mature athlete and he has been working on his speed. I've had the pleasure of interviewing him several times. And I know that this has been something he's been looking towards for a number of months now and the strength and the courage with which he 
threw down that last 200. You know, Ben Flanagan, he got known for this term, where's my mom, when he crossed the line in 2018, having won the NCAA 10,000 meter championships in total disbelief. Now he's known for the term full send, and he did full send tonight, 339.63. That is a five second improvement on his lifetime best. Huge, huge win for Ben Flanagan, who's been flirting with that four, 340 barrier for so long. His teammate Foster, having done so much of the work, 340.29, excellent performance by pre performance by him, excuse me. Belmore, 341.58, really strong running as well. So 